Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have been given this interesting uh, triangle ABC whose two side lengths are 70 and 90 respectively and it's one of the angles is 60 degrees. And now the question is what's wrong with this triangle? Can you give me the answer? You may pause the video and take your time please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to do. Let's go ahead and label this triangle ABC. Since this is our vertex A, so the opposite side is going to be lowercase a. Since this vertex is B, so the opposite side is going to be lowercase b and furthermore let me go ahead and call this angle as an alpha and this angle as beta so before i give you the answer to this question right away let's go ahead and find the value of this angle alpha first in order to calculate angle alpha let's recall law of sines and here's the law of sines that we will be using to find alpha let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula sine of alpha over a equal to sine of beta over b in our case our a is 90 b is 70 and angle beta is 60 degrees so let's go ahead and plug it in so sine of alpha divided by a in our case is 90 equal to sine of beta is 60 degrees divided by b is 70 and if we use a calculator we know that sine of 60 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.866 so we can write this one sine of alpha divided by 90 equals to 0 0.866 divided by 70. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 90 on this side and 90 on this side to isolate this sine of alpha. This 90 and 90 is uh, gone. So we got sine of alpha equals to 0 0.866 times 90 divided by 70. And if we simplify the right hand side, so sine of alpha turns out to be approximately equal to 1.1134. Then we can write this our angle alpha as equal to sine inverse of this range 1.1134. And now if we plug it in these values in your calculator to calculate angle alpha, it is going to give you an error. Why are we getting this error? Let me go ahead and now give you an explanation. Let's look at this graph of this sine function and we can see that this oscillates between 1 and negative 1. So no wonder the range of this sine function is restricted between negative 1 and positive 1. And here we can see that our sine of alpha value is approximately equal to 1.1134. And we can see that this is not within this range of this sine function. So this is not possible. So therefore we conclude that no such triangle exists. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.